1981 Vespa P200E. It's quite a cool bike, this. It is registered by the previous Cuba down as a 125, um, but it's 200. It's a genuine 200 engine with the correct Vespa serial number. Um, it's been off the road since 1998. Um, and it's just been back into a well known garage Motec to get some light recommissioning work done and the service. It was actually sold by them, well, Angelo's scooter station, which was in Biker, which is now Motec, when it was brand new. So it's been in the, in the northeast all its life. So a bit of a cool background story with this one. Um, we're starting at the top, working our way around. Get it straight so you can see. The front cowling, the top cowling, the light cowling is all nice and clean. There's no heavy cracks or crazing to the cowling. The light lens itself is nice and clear and crack free. Even the bars, there is a bit of runs within the paint on that, the selector side of the, and the brake side of the handlebars. That doesn't want to stay because I understand. A couple of light scratches. To the front, just under the Vespa sign there, and a couple of little dents. The front cowling is slightly loose, it's cracked around there and there. But apart from that, very, very nice presentable bike. Front mug guard, getting it all very nice and clean. Chrome mug guard, little chip to the paint there. A couple of little more down here. As we come around the bike, onto the feet guards. Inside, that's all nice. No heavy wear to that at all. A couple of little light chips to the right hand side of it. Around the cubby box, the glove box. The feet runner rubbers and grips. They're all very nice. You normally see them very worn or split and missing sections, but that's very good down there. Even the brake pedal rubber. As you come around the side of rear buildings, there is a couple of little more marks on the side. Well, I just had a couple of little scuffs. Rear lights, all good. Screw hanging out there. That screw one's changed for the right length one. But apart from they're all okay. A couple of bits of the lacquer peel and chips just below the seat there. On the left hand side rear of the bike. A few more little light, light scrapes and scuffs. But no, very, very nice presentable bike. Very usable and it's 200. Wait, it's a P200E. It's quite rare, I believe. As we start up. You can see there, a bit of choke gone. That's not from the last time I started up, it hasn't been around for a while. Bit of choke gone, and uh, fire straight into life. So there you have it. The Vespa P200E. Any more questions or anything you'd like to know, please get in contact, and we'll help as best as we can.